So, hello everybody. Hey My guys. name is Beth. Knucks. And Sheena. We are the National Trust Marine Team, um, and we are here to wish you Happy World Oceans Day <laughs> 2020. Um, the theme of this year is trying to protect 30% of the oceans by 2030, which is something that our funders, Blue Marine Foundation, are um, hugely proud of and really pushing for as well. As an NGO on Ireland, our role is obviously to work with the government, uh, local organisations, key stakeholders, to make sure that the marine protected area that is surrounding the island um, does exactly what it's meant to do, um, ensures sustainable fishing, makes sure there's livelihoods for everybody here, uh, pushes for sustainable tourism and, and great research and is protected. So we're all going to talk about how we do that, um, but yeah, thrilled to be here and, and happy World Oceans Day. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so part of what we do here as well, we don't only do the research, but we like to share, um, to disseminate and educate the public schools about what we do. Um, so this year we've been uh, very good. We've got an app, a game, sorry, that we've released on Google and Apple stores. It's here to help protect what you know about. Mm. Um, so a big part of what we do is helping um, not just on Ireland, but other people as well. So this app is available um, worldwide. Mm. I think just to add to that as well, it was meant to be just for children. <laughs> I find it very addictive. Oh, yeah. uh, the music as well, once it gets in your head, you, you really can't start. Do really <laughs> yeah, you learn a lot. And I do think there is there is one whale shark that does make an appearance in that, which links seamlessly to <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, so like Sheena mentioned, um, through the research that we do, um, you know, whale sharks to uh, make, name a few. Um, you know, St. Helena is the only place in the world at the moment where mature, both mature female and males come to the yard to breed. That's what we like to think. And that's what, for all of our research, what we're trying to do is, um, you know, prove that point that they actually come here to mate. Um, it was incredible, really. Like, yeah, and, know, I, and our I, whale sharks are amazing. Yeah, and I think, you know, on, on the t shirts yeah. as well, trying to push that message and the technology that's been used and the fact that your faces were on, you know, Blue Planet Live exactly, and that that's yeah. now been nominated for BAFTA and that reached so many millions of people. So like Sheena touched upon, not just doing the research, but explaining to people why the research is being done and why it's so important to the community and why it will safeguard the marine environment for generations to come. Absolutely, and then, you know, just as well as whale sharks, you know, plastic pollution is top on the list in our marine environment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just like everywhere else, St. Helena is affected as well. Um, the majority of our litter that we find here um, is from elsewhere in the world, which is quite concerned. Mm -hmm. You know, ocean currents bringing um, litter to our pristine uh, island. And, you know, through that research, what we've been finding is that, you know, um, there's a lot of microplastics and uh, you know, the whale shark is one of our most identifiable links to the outside world and their filter feeders mm -hmm. and, you know, just mm -hmm. all that. And yeah. something I thought was really interesting that you found was that um, the, the origins of the plastics yeah. and how that potentially linked to um, fishing that was going on surrounding St Helena's waters, you know, is that a sign that actually fishing is encroaching on the, the MPA and the EEZ? All this information was fed back to the likes of the Marine Management Organisation and CFAS in the UK. So I think sometimes if people are like, oh, you know, what's the point in, in finding that plastic on the beach? It feeds into a much wider story and linking back to World Oceans Day, that's what we want everyone to do is to, whether it's small or big, whatever action you guys do is, it will have a huge impact um, on, on the conservation of the marine environment. And, 